Yo guys, what is up? Um, today I'm doing a little bit of a um, editing tutorial. Um, I haven't done one of these before, but let's go. Okay, right. So as you can see, I'm opening up Lightroom now. Um, yeah, I have Lightroom Classic. I don't, I don't like the new Lightroom. I've always used uh, Adobe Lightroom Classic, and before the, the new Lightroom came in, and I've just always stuck with it. I have tried the new one now. I just don't like it. Um, I've just never liked it. So these are the couple of photos you guys have seen before, but I've got some new ones I'm going to edit. So let me just go quickly and import them and I'll be right back with you. Okay, right, so while they're loading, um, these are a couple of photos my brother and I took, I think it was two nights ago now. And um, let me just move my lights a bit. So this is not a tutorial on how to use Lightroom, it's just to show you a bit about how I edit my photos. Um, if you guys want to go see my photos I post, it's all my photography accounts, uh, Shawnee underscore photo underscore. Okay, right, so they've all loaded in now. Let's go to the develop tab. Um, so this is a long exposure. I took two nights ago, like I said. Um, it's on a highway, just literally the other side of uh, the house estate, um, on a farm bridge. So there's no street lights on the bridge. Um, you can see the other bridge over there. That bridge, I took the previous photos on, and a lot of them didn't come out as well because of the lights. Um, doing these other photos are very difficult. I wouldn't suggest going straight into these type of photos with photography. Play around, do landscape photos, portraits, take off friends, take off flowers, cars, buildings, stuff like that. Before you go into these, obviously, if you want to be confident enough, go for it, no problem. I just wouldn't re recommend going straight into these type of photos. Um, it's taken me quite a long time to get these right and stuff like So these are, these, these are the presets, as you can see here, that I use. Um, I don't use them that much. Um, that looks sick. Um, my favorite one I use if you see my photography hunt, is this orange and teal. I absolutely love that. It comes out a lot. Comes out really with a lot of photos. That is really cool, but I want more blue. So I'm just going to edit them with my presets. So I'm going to click on this one. Um, and then I'm going to come down to this panel over here. This is the panel that controls um, all your different lights and like shadows, shades, and stuff like that, all different types of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead quickly, edit this a little bit how I want it to come out. Um, I actually like that, just I want a bit more colour in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, come down here, add a little more vibrant, just to make the colour pop. So now you can see these red lines here are popping a hell of a lot. Um, this is a bit too red. Um, I don't like to over edit my photos because I, I don't want people to go in my comments like, oh look, look I edited this photo. But I do believe every photo needs a little bit of editing. Um, now. These are my brother, this is called um, photo painting, it's basically hard work. I'm going to do a proper video when I'm out on in the field doing this obviously during the corona, I can't go out but that is probably really sick and let's see what we can do with that. Um, so basically what happens is the exact same science as this, just instead you're doing it with a torch. So all my brother did was stand there, right, push go, drew the, drew the whatever as they drew lightning bolts and then done. Um, we try to get an anchor. As you can see, a lot of them are fails. Um, as you can see, we try to get an anchor, but it was quite difficult to get it even. I think that was one of the best ones. And let's go back and edit this lightning box. I absolutely love how this came out. Uh, let's see what I can do. Um, let's have a look here. That looks really sick. I think I'm just going to S. Sometimes I don't actually use my presets, I just mess around over here. Let's bring the whites down a bit. And then, there we go. So now you can see a little bit more of the bridge, stuff like that. Um, let's just see what I can do. I want, I want it to go a bit more blue, so I'm going to play over to there. we go. That looks alright. I'm not saying that's perfect. Let's just see what I can adjust. Oh, it's actually really difficult because I don't like how his legs are showing, but then above the lightning bolt, it's pitch black. Um, I don't, it's a really sick photo, I just don't look like how it came out. It came out nice, the lightning bolt it came out really cool. I just don't like how it's just random legs. Like, I guess it's really cool. Um, a lot of you, I'm guessing, I think, are wow, it's amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna keep putting that one. But let's just go to one of these anchor ones. Let's just go to. But I think this was the best we got. Um, anchors were difficult because you got you got to line up the 
both the ends of the anchor. Let's just have a look. Mm, there's nothing, none of the presets match. I actually need to get some more presets. Um, if you guys want me to make some presets, um, let me know down below because I'll definitely ha happily make some of these presets for you and you guys can download them and use them on mobile. I've actually never used Lightroom on mobile. A couple of my friends have tried it on their phones and tablets. Um, there's apparently Photoshop mobile and Lightroom mobile. I've never tried it. Um, not really, I don't really use my phone photography at all, I don't even get that involved. Yes, yeah, so I'm using a 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar, fully spec'd out. Um, I've been a Windows person my whole life, but because I left South Africa, if you guys don't know my whole life story, go watch the rest of the videos on my channel. Um, I left South Africa, I've been in Wales now, I'm currently in South Wales. I've been in now for just over a month and I have, I wouldn't say I've become a, a Mac person, but obviously for traveling purposes, stuff like that. I'm sorry, whatever, you, I don't care what you say, Mac is way better to, to use while traveling. Um, this isn't any other laptop that stands a chance against a MacBook. Um, they're just so overpowered, they're so amazing. I will admit, I am still bad to, to use the MacBook sometimes for certain things. They are very, very different to um, Windows PCs, obviously. But I think I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, my girlfriend's got a Windows PC, Asus, so it's like I'm constantly back and forth. And my dad has Windows, my brother has Windows. I'm the only one in this house that has Mac at the moment. Um, but I, I'm loving it, and I do love the raw power. Like, this thing's just got so much power. The processing power of this thing is crazy. The FOSS, like, my computer was pretty powerful, but it was not as fast. as there's no way. Like, I don't think there's much device out there that can keep up with these MacBooks, because they just... Awesome. Okay, I know they're really expensive, but I do believe in sometimes paying for quality, if you know what I mean. Like, I'll quickly edit this one quickly before you guys, just for the last one. Um, but this is basically what I do. Uh, I know this is, you know, it's, these literally these photos, I only started taking these. This is the second time I've been out now taking them. I know during Corona, I can't really, I'm not supposed to be going out, but I did go out the one night. Quite happy how that turned out. I don't actually want to change this much. Um, that's really cool. I really like that. If you want to see the after and before, well, there you go. Um, there's the after and before. It looks really cool. Um, yes, the after and before for this one. So I brought the sky, the lights. I really love that. And then where's the lightning bolt? Didn't really change much on this one. It's not really much to change, to be honest. And then the anchor one we did, there's the after and before. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do more videos like this, more in depth. I know I do a lot of portraits. I will do a video soon when I take some more portraits so I have no one to take a portrait of or I can't go out anyway but let me know what you what you guys think of these videos down below this is the first time ever doing um, like an editing tutorial video it's not really a tutorial on how to use Lightroom it's just a, a tutorial on how I edit my videos um, my photos sorry yeah guys so thanks so much for watching please leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and you guys want to follow me and yep thanks for watching